in this video we would be solving this part which says what is the slope of the budget line at this point from previous part recall that your budget line was of the form x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 9 your slope of budget line is nothing but your ratio of prices where bl represent your budget line and your prices are of the form P1 and P2 for this particular case. So your slope is minus of P1 divided by P2. P1 is taking the value of 1 and P2 is taking the value of 2. So this becomes minus 1 divided by 2. Now note that your budget line is a straight line. So it will always have fixed slope. It does not matter whether the question is asking at this point. Since the slope is a constant, it will remain constant at any particular point. Don't get confused by that the question is asking the slope to be at a particular point. But how do we calculate that? There is no such need. The question is confusing you. Hence, the slope of the budget line is minus 1 divided by 2. The graph we drew in the previous part, where on the x-axis we have nuts, y-axis we have berries. Blue line is your budget line and purple curve is the curve that gives them both say the utility of 9. Part is, which is cheaper at this point, the budget line or the indifference curve? Now note that in the previous video, we calculated at this point, the question is talking about the point 9,0. In the previous part, we calculated the MRS at 9,0, which was minus 2 divided by 3. In order to see which is cheaper, the budget line or the indifference curve, we have to compare the slopes of both the curves. The slope of the budget line we, is nothing but minus 1 divided by 2, which is constant throughout. And the slope of indifference curve at 9,0 is nothing but the MRS at 9,0, which we calculated to be minus 2 divided by 3. And clearly, if I compare minus 2 divided by 3 and minus 1 divided by 2, I see that minus 2 divided by 3 is greater than minus 1 divided by 2. That means the slope of indifference curves is greater than the slope of budget line. And since the slope of indifference curve is greater than the budget line, you are indifference curve is cheaper at 9,0. Now moving on to the next part. We have can Ambrose afford any bundles that he likes better than the point 9,0. Now note that Ambrose wants the utility to be 9 and this is the highest curve that he is able to attain having the given budget. So, the answer here becomes no. Ambrosi cannot afford any bundles that he likes better than the point 9,0 since the point 9,0 is giving him the highest level of utility and is completely exhausting his budget.